What is more important in volleyball, quality or quantity? I will try to answer this question from several perspectives. From perspective of volleyball skills, uh, physical conditioning, uh, jump development, recovery, team preparation and team matches. Quality is generally considered a more important element than quantity. Uh, this rule applies in many fields, but what about in volleyball? You will find out the answer after watching my thoughts uh, at the end of the video. Volleyball skills are learned over several years. It is not easy to learn all six volleyball skills. It doesn't take weeks or months, more like years. And we need to spend thousands of hours with the ball to learn setting, uh, passing, uh, blocking, uh, defending in the field, attacking and serving. You have probably heard of the 10,000 hour rule, which says uh, that it takes at least 10,000 hours of performing and activity to become proficient at it. This can be transferred to volleyball. We need uh, thousands of hours to make the ball obey us and for us to control it. From this perspective, it would seem that uh, quantity or the number of training hours is the alpha and omega of building good volleyball skills. Yes, I'm not going to tell you that uh, you don't need to practice a lot. But quantity alone won't be enough. Imagine training for 3 hours. But half of the training is not performed in good quality and you are learning technique the wrong way. Sure, you may have uh, written down 3 hours in your training log. But of those hours, you only trained half of them with quality. So you have actually trained at 50%. Well, if you train at 50% for other training sessions, you will have logged a lot of training hours but your skills will only improve at an average rate, not using the maximum potential of the training. That's why in training you need volume, lots of hours with the ball, but even more important is quality. If I were a maximalist, every touch of the ball you make, you should make as good as possible. You'll make tens of thousands of touches of the ball in a season. And if you make sure you get every touch right, you get your technique right, then you'll use your training to the max and you'll improve quickly. So that's why in terms of volleyball skills development, I prefer quality over quantity. Every volleyball player needs uh, physical conditioning. Uh, without physical condition, we cannot uh, train or play a match. Uh, when we play volleyball, we jump, uh, make quick movements, uh, we attack, and that takes a lot of energy. I have experienced uh, firsthand uh, many approaches to developing uh, physical condition. In the junior national team, uh, we regularly run 10 kilometers. We had three training sessions a day for two hours. We were young and we managed uh, this training portion. When I was in Russia, we trained uh, even more intensively. It was not easy, but when our bodies could handle it, we had the physique of Rocky Balboa in the best years. I also know of a situation where one national team wanted to win all the volleyball tournaments, so their coach instructed them that if the other team trained 6 hours a day, they would train 8 hours a day. Quantity was very important in these cases. Also, from my point of view, in developing physical condition, quantity is necessary to a certain extent. You can count on going for two runs at the beginning of the season and that will be enough. You can count on doing a few abdominal exercises once a month and that will last you another two weeks. With fitness development, regularity and volume is important. Here too, the quality of the work determines how much fitness training we get out of it. We need to perform exercises in the gym, outdoors or indoors with good technique. Still, I think that with fitness, quantity is at least on par with quality and is similarly important in my eyes, which is why I split the point between them. To increase the jump, we do a lot of exercises, strength and speed training, plyometric exercises, jump exercises, foot speed training, reaction exercises, all have a big effect on how quickly your nervous system reacts uh, to demands. Because these are dynamic exercises in the vast majority of cases, fast moving exercises should always be prioritized for quality over quantity, especially because of the potential risk of uh, injury. I experienced this myself in Russia. The coach gave us uh, 10 hurdles in a row on a wooden floor uh, that was slightly wet. And our task was to jump 20 sets of 10 hurdles, 200 jumps in total. It was very challenging and uh, you could see our technique coming off during the workout. As fatigue set in, we did everything we could to finish the last series. Also, the more we jumped, the more slippery floor got. 
it was very fortunate that we didn't get injured. So don't risk doing jump training through fatigue with poor technique just to get more training volume to increase your jump. Also imagine that with a similar workout you can do 30 jumps in 30 seconds. In no other sport can you expect a similar demanding workout. Therefore quality is clearly more important in my eyes for jump training and I give it another point. If we want to play good volleyball for a long time, we can train without recovery. Of course, if you train twice a week or twice a day, our approach to recovery should be different. Regeneration usually consists of rest or relaxation activities that do not overload us. With recovery, we usually don't catch our breath. We don't strain our muscles, instead we get a pleasant massage, we relax in the sauna, we sleep and so on. With regeneration we are in no danger of overtraining. If we sleep for 8 hours and extend our sleep by an hour, nothing can happen to us. I'm an advocate of the view that there is virtually never enough regeneration. In fact, uh, that we can do it in many forms every day. We can actually do it for volume, for quantity and it won't hurt us. Rather, it will help us to improve our volleyball performance. That's why I give uh, quantity in recovery a point uh, and prefer it over quality. I'm getting to the team comparisons uh, of whether quality or quantity is more important. Similar to volleyball skills training, in team training we already spent a lot of hours practicing in 6 against 6. It's no longer about individual training, but about practicing team chemistry and preparing for the game. Therefore, in order to play well as a team, we cannot train without quantity and many repetitions of different exercises. But as with the development of individual technique and skills, quality is much more important than quantity when training together. Imagine you are training as a team and every second touch of the ball is executed incorrectly. Your teammate receives the ball well, but the setter sets a short set out of the net. The attacker can no longer attack and just passes the ball to the other side. The quality of your game goes down rapidly. Uh, you will not like this kind of practice and the coach will certainly point out that he wishes you to perform better. Therefore, quality in team training is more important in my eyes and gets a point from me. Matches are the culmination of our individual and team efforts. They are also culmination of our physical training, jump training and recovery. And matches, we always want to perform at our best and win the match if possible. We don't go into a match with the goal of losing. We just want to make a good performance. At certain times in the team's preparation, the quantity of matches is important. For example, at the beginning of the season, we need to play more matches and uh, get into a match written. But for most of the year, we have a clear schedule of games in front of us. We know when we are going to play and who we are going to play. We know what tournaments are coming up. Some coaches like to play against weaker teams in preparation for their team to win to keep their players' confidence high. In my eyes, it's more important to play quality matches. Not only should uh, our team play a quality match, but also the opponent on the other side will play quality volleyball. In these cases, uh, we may lose, uh, the opponent will be above our strength. But uh, even losing to a better opponent when we did our best is better for the team than winning against a weaker opponent after an average uh, performance. That's why I recommend to prefer quality over quantity in matches. A quality opponent and our quality performance will move us forward. So that was my reflection on the eternal question of whether quality is really more important than quantity. From my point of view, from several angles, it was confirmed that quality wins in volleyball too and it is really more important to focus on it to play the best volleyball we can, either individually or as a team. That's why you should also focus more on quality in your volleyball life. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.